Hi, this is Gil. Welcome to Brooklyn Gardens. Today we are going to walk through this portion of the nursery where I have the majority of the nursery stock. And we're going to talk about some of the plants and um, and the, the the types of sales we're going to have this year and what's going on here at Brooklyn Gardens. So, and we're going to have a second video coming up um, soon as well. And I'm going to talk about um, some changes here at, at Brooklyn Gardens. So um, stay tuned for that. And I think some of you that are would like mail order plants will be interested in what we're going to be talking about on that video so so we've got the um you know just this the the front part of this center part of the nursery you know we did a video on uh, container putting your uh, conifers in containers you know we've got you know these available in a variety of plants i've got these ground covers not a wide variety but this one called angelina it's a um sedum repressre and then i've got one other sedum and i've i have 20 or 30 of these flats available and people buy them and um and you can break them apart and plant them so they're an inexpensive way to buy buy the sedums this one t turns a nice bright gold in the summertime and it has a bronzy effect during the winter time so it's a, a nice addition to the garden so over on um, the other side here, we've got several boxes filled with mostly two, some three gallon um, conifers and just a variety of, of uh, things. A lot of pines in this bed, but I always have, there's a larch going on here. Um, one of the contorted ones that I have. The things that are gold are still gold, but most of them will be turning back to green, especially the mugo mugo pines so um and then um uh, let's see i've got a interesting um this one's called uncle uncle foggy it's a, a scotch pine and kotobuki the japanese black pine karsten's winter gold got this flat growing fir right here noble fir uh prostrata I remember this is um, so I have about ten of these. They're Vanderwolf's pyramid. They're they're produced quite um, you know in, in in good numbers because they're 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 sold it as a a nice pine to the tree. It's an upright habit, but will get to be a large tree. Over here, I've been holding on to these these plants over here. Um, I'll thin it out a little bit, but. Um, I'd like to, I would like to grow these on for another year or so, but I've got, I, I think it's pronounced Parad Kissin. It's a Pinus uncinata. It's a Mugo subspecies. Um, really tight, and you can see the buds just forming there, and they're very short. Let me get this little twig out of the way, but you can just poke your hand in and feel how tight those those are, and the little buds right right there getting ready so um i really like that that plant a lot we have some green penguin scots pine some mugo pines called varilla it looks almost identical to green penguin but it's more globose and i've got a really miniature um mugo pine here i've, I've called it hb horseman but it might be wb wb usually meaning a witch's broom so it's a tiny little thing and a little mugo called rada over right over here everything's the buds are all um elongating now and um they're getting you know showing off so the they'll be flushing out soon with needles within the next month or so that'll be really interesting so so I've got the table set up throughout the nursery here now and, and filled them up with, um, like this table here has uh, just pines in it, ABs, I'm sorry, ABs, firs. And here's a really, really nice one um, called, it's a, it's a hybrid one called Blue Hurricane, uh, ABs Coria Carpa. So I really like that one. I have one in my own yard that's really mature on a fence line. So they'll eventually get, you know, in 15, 20 years, they'll get 15, 20 feet tall, but it, it's a, it's a bit of a process. So it's a, a slower growing one. 
another Glocka prostrata, that noble fir. Um, there's one tree. It's grafted onto firma. It's silver pearl. So that's that really uh, Korean fir that grows really slow, slowly. Not as silver looking as uh, icebreaker, but still a very nice tree. Got a few um, Macedonian firs. A JK Grease is this one. There's a few in the inventory here. One of my more popular ones is the Golden Spanish fir. Um, Abe's Pensapo Aria. And there's a few others in here. Golden Spreaders, always I have always have a, a number of those. So that's that and then we have more furs in the back corner back here and then just ta several tables of um pines are yeah and um so we've got this one's got a really nice blue um, it's called pixie and um uh, more of a globose um, look to it really um really like it there's a little grouping of them right here and then the green twist, which is always one of the more popular ones at the nursery. It's a Pinestrobus. Another pixie, and then some winter song. This is a Mugo pine, Pinus Mugo. Still showing nice gold color. I think it's um, it's just one of the nicer golds in the Mugos. So. That, that's really a really a nice one and this scotch pine is called pinus sylvestris is john boy another one of those um ones that doesn't get grow slowly just two or three inches a year um there's a any a number of them little ann and jeremy and i've got a cupcake here on the table as well um you know like the we talk about what's in the name of a, a tree i think cupcake is one that I, I would gravitate more than John Boy, but I like John Boy as well. So, um, more pines this way. We've got uh, a Rocky Mountain pine, Pinus flexilis, Cesarini blue here, some sea urchins up here, Jacobson right here. Here, one of my favorite Mugo pines. I think this one. What do I got here? Oh, I think this is an interesting one. I don't really. It's called. It's a Pinus sylvestris called Blue Cheese. So you can see a little bit of. And it, it has a interesting blue color. Really, really nice. And then it, it's got a little bit of yellow in it. So that little bit of variegation, not a lot, but. Pretty interesting tree. I only, only have two of them. So I've had this one for about four years. Probably about a seven-year-old plant right here. This one here, same thing. You can see a little more pronounced of the yellow variegation going on in it. So so those only have the two. Another one of the twisted... Um, it's Pinus banksiana. So it's a, a jack pine. And... Um, Uncle Uncle Foggy, I think I pointed one out earlier, so it has that twisted look to it. Another Jacobson. Then a table of spruces. This is an interesting spruce right here, uh, uh, Picea bruriana. It grows in Northern California, a little bit up into Oregon. It's called Emerald Midget. And it grows slowly. It grows a little differently than the species, and that the species of branches all hang down um, off a off the branch, so um, off the main branch. And this one here is going to be just fairly tight, conical, small tree. Got um, bushes lace going on here, which is a columnar one, an Engelmann spruce, Wengel's weeper, which it'll grow upright with the branches all being. Uh, growing down, that's a uh, Norway spruce, Picea abies.
And then another little group of pines over here, of a variety of them. Um, got a boxwood. I've been um, planting a few things along the edge here, too. We've got a, um, a spruce over here, Picea glauca, the with the immature foliage. This is the one that has some blue going on in it. A couple different beds back here, and then moving on to the larches. Just a, we have several. They're just coming into into leaf right now. The needles are growing, and this color is really outstanding. So we have a video on larches that's coming out, but we've got a group of these larches. So we'll we'll mention these, but I've grouped them all to, as much as I can together, so they're all in one place right here. Then we'll move along to, we've got also the other deciduous conifers like the Dawn Redwood. I don't have a lot available. I've got Silhouette. I've got um, Gold Rush, which I'm just down to the last of, of those now. I've got a Coastal Redwood with a, a columnar one. That's the only one um, that I have in the inventory. Grouping of a little bit larger spruces. This one here has got some gold. Variegation Aria spicata, blue spruce, low growing ones. Another big group of um, ABS firs in here. Lots of icebreakers. Um, Greg's broom, which is a flat growing fir. Alaska weeping cedars in this area, area here. This one here is called Sparkling Arrow. Um, and I've got a few of those, and then Glocka prostrata, which is real, really popular um, one in the last 10, 15 years in the landscape. More of the blue alpine firs. Got a nice silver pearl on a standard. Lots of little um, pollen cones on this. On this. So, um, and then the ginkgos are just starting to leaf out now. I'm going to pick this one up here. This one here is, actually this one is just one that was growing in the yard, and I don't ha didn't have a name for it. It's a, a larger one, um, but uh, the, uh, the leaves are just coming out. And then we've got quite a few of the smaller leaf ones, slower growing ones in here that we might have talked about before and then some that are grafted up on high on the standard so and then things are still in the ground over here groups of larger pines um off off over this way here just got some bosnian pines irish bell and schmidt um, got a few green penguins, Karsten's winter gold, some Jacobson's again, and Dave's choice to Mugo, which I like a lot over there. And the, so I still have uh, 10 of those or so. So put a few of the um, trees over here, Katsuras that I have left, grouped them up. Uh, paper bark maples, Stewardias, which I have quite a few of, of different sizes. Got a little Japanese maple here called Red Dragon. So group these up together so people can see them in one, one place to, with the deciduous uh, trees. Thanks for watching today. Hope you enjoy the video and stay tuned for more announcements and more videos from Berkland Gardens. See you later.